I wonder if Warren <laughs> actually has a flat screen. Do you still have a, one of those boxy TV? You have a color TV, probably, right, Warren? But if you I've actually, got a, I, I, you got a flat screen? I've got an 85 incher. I like to watch sports on, on television. <laughs> See, I knew and, it. And it's interesting. <laughs> and I sit very close to it. it, it, it it's interesting <laughs> how in a the theater you get you get a bad result if you, you sit in the front row, but but you can sit very close to the screen of mine. And, can you, is it a Samsung? I, I love it. Is it a Samsung, Warren? Can you disclose yeah, that? It, 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 it is a Samsung, yeah. Mine too. Yeah, it's a Samsung. I, I like it. So you watch yeah. Creighton. You watch Creighton from uh, from like this far away. I, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And, and I watch the Super Bowl and I watch everything. I, I, it, it, it's, Olympics. Just think of, you know, yeah, and think of, think of, think of how, what that is compared to 40 or 50 years ago. I mean, it's the experience is just High incredible. Def. It's fantastic. Yeah. I know. All right, and you can you can tell it to switch. You can verbally tell it to you know switch to something else. Switch this to squawk box. For <laughs> All right, I watch you on an 85-inch screen. Oh though. my God! <laughs> oh my I know. I, 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 we, got, we don't pay our makeup people enough. I know. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah. Warren, one thing that you, well, that you said earlier, you, you were talking about Samsung. You mentioned you own the, the, the Sam, Samsung 85-inch television screen, but you know an awful lot about the company. You don't own the shares, do you? I don't own them, and Berkshire doesn't own them now, but Berkshire has owned Samsung. Uh, it doesn't get reported in our 13F. I, I think 13F is just applied to domestic, so it, it actually really? hasn't shown up. But uh, I think I'm right on that. Uh, uh, I'm 99 percent sure, and uh, so we bought some. When Samsung was at, <laughs> at about a, a million won, <laughs> uh, got to divide that by something over a thousand. Uh, uh, we 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 bought a, a reasonable amount. Uh, uh, we did sell it when it went up. It's higher than this now. It went up to a million eight or something. I think it's around two two million three or four. Uh, the won went in our favor a little bit too, so we did a little bit better in dollars. But. What, I, I mean, I don't think of you as, in the past you have bought some South Korean stocks, I think. It was a while ago. Why, why, why were you looking at Samsung at it this point? It was very, very cheap. It, it had a lot of cash. Uh, they hadn't done much on buying in their stock, but they had, they had talked about it. Uh, but it was, it was just very cheap. It was a big, strong, good company. Yeah, I remember you buying a South Korean retailer, was it, years ago? Yeah. I. I Maybe there was a time when I bought a whole bunch of little ones. Right, right about personally. the time where we traveled. Yeah, exactly. And we, uh, there, the, the Korean market was very cheap. I mean, ridiculously cheap after the 1998 when they had all kinds of troubles. There, there were a lot of bargains in Korea. When you say a reasonable amount, I mean, for me, that's a, a different number for my holdings than it would be for you. Are we yeah. talking north of a billion dollars? Well, we probably made in the hundreds of millions someplace. But, uh, you made that much on the yeah, transaction. Not, yeah, not, yeah. That, that's my memory. It kind of been 500 million or 400. I, I don't remember exactly. We happen to be well situated in terms of having these massive home furnishing stores. And, and uh, uh, I can learn very easily how consumers react to different things uh, there. Uh, probably easier than I can uh, trying to pick out what's really happening at Amazon at any given time. So you use your research at the, the Nebraska Furniture Mart to to tell you that consumers prefer Apple over Samsung, or I mean, what what type of thing are you? Well, the interesting thing is, if you if you come in to buy a TV set, the Furniture Mart, a price is extremely important. Now, obviously, pictures there's all those great pictures just sitting up there. So you you can have Samsung, you have all these different uh, ones, and uh, if you put on a sale. Uh, and you drop the price of Samsung 10 percent, we can fill that department with people that come out for it. Uh, you can't move people by price uh, in the smartphone market remotely like you can move them in appliances or all kinds of things. I mean, people want the product. They don't want the cheapest product. And uh, the <clears throat> loyalty is huge. Now, that doesn't mean somebody can't come along with a product that, that just jumps the field in some way. but. Uh, and then once you have the product, the degree to which it sort of controls your life, I mean, it's a very, very, very valuable product to the people that build their lives around it. And that's true of eight-year-olds and it's true of 80-year-olds.
Uh, see, the market is not yet saturated for iPhones. I just want to point that out. When, when <laughs> Tim Cook sent me a Christmas card again this year saying he was going to sell me an iPhone this year, when I, when I actually buy it, it's all over, folks. You know, <laughs> the this last is a, person is bought. A Samsung flip phone that you still yeah. have. Yeah. It's so a, you're still positive on it. You're going to be, when you buy, it's jumping the shark, essentially? Pardon me? When you buy a smartphone, it's jumping the shark. That's the, <laughs> well, that's the end of the it, run. It, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'll buy one late in the year just so that I, he keeps giving me these reminders every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> people who, who have questioned Apple's future have said things like, well, right now people are paying $800 for a smartphone. And the other reality in technology is that prices eventually come down. And unless you're adding more and more value to that product, the price will come down. So what happens if people... I mean, I guess the question is, will people always be willing to pay $800 or more for a phone, or will that wind up being a cost that comes down and down, uh, just well, as technology it, it can be that way, but that's usually because there's competition between different pr products, and some manufacturer decides that they can't beat, say, Apple on their own terms, so they drop them 100 bucks or 200 bucks. Some products are very susceptible to that, and other products are not. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far... I mean, you've had smartphones and big differences in price categories, and and people come back in, and if they had an Apple before, you're going to have a much cheaper cell phone uh, selling right next to the smartphone selling right next to it, and they don't look at it. Hmm. If you have a cheaper TV, that picture's looking at you, and, and you say, what, wait, wait a second, what's the difference? Right. <laughs> and you buy the cheaper TV, and, and that's true of... I mean, most items are price sensitive, and it's not to say that uh, an Apple isn't has somewhat price sensitive. It's very, very, very little. That, but somebody could come along and leapfrog something in the way of the technology and adds some benefits. That uh, that that would be the more competitive threat to me than price competition. It would be benefit competition. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but then, you know, Apple gave me a whole lot of things that I never realized I needed That's until the they thing. came up with them. <laughs> and somebody else was trying to think of some other things to give you along the same line. Right.